So, what, what, what the? So it's a little bit, uh, been a little bit rainy here all day. Not like, like a hard rain dropping down, but uh, sorry, I saw a hawk flying over, just making sure he wasn't carrying anything of mine. So just uh, just a steady like light drizzle rain. Um, so that just uh, inspired me to stay out of the rain all day today, aside from doing errands or chores rather. So now what I gotta do is I gotta move, well, I'm not gonna move them. Typically what I do with the meat birds is I will move them in the morning and feed them. And then I move them in the afternoon, usually around 1600, so around 4 p.m. And, uh, and then I feed them again. And the reason I do that uh, is because of this. These guys are prolific poopers. You are, you are, you're very prolific pooper. Who's a pooper? Who's a pooper? You are, aren't you? Yeah. So anyway, I like to keep moving them onto fresh grass. It's healthier for them. I think anything that makes them healthier means that whatever I get from them and put into me is healthier. I mean, I'm going through all the stuff of, you know, feeding them organic food and all that. So, and of course, the, you know, the way the move works is I slap the tires on the back, grab the hitch in the front, move it forward one tractor length so that they're off all of their own stuff. But when it rains like this, the ground gets really wet. And the, the challenge with that is Chickens don't respond super well to being wet. And uh, so what I've done in the past is I've actually been um, putting out tarps where I'm gonna move them next when I know rain is coming. This, this started earlier than I thought it was gonna come. I thought I'd have time to do it this morning. So I, I didn't set tarps out last night and it started probably four o'clock this morning, which was five hours earlier than forecast. So I hosed you fellas. You're welcome, you're welcome. So that's how it goes. Uh, but I'm just gonna feed these guys and then give them some more water, food and water, and then uh, they're just gonna have to stay in that one spot. It's not unusual to move them only one day or once a day. I just been doing twice a day because it just makes me feel better. I'd want to be moved if I could, but uh, they'll be okay. But you can see they're 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 ready for a little little din din. I got it, here I come! No 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 no! Go back in! Go but don't step on my feet. Ah, it's got it. You guys want to get in here? This is where the good stuff is. I don't know. Stay out of the dude. I'll scoop it. You just. Come on. Oh, quit moving it. All right, hey, 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 honestly, step out. Uh, no, sir, can you get, thank you. Why is that water or not watering? Okay, that's a problem. I gotta address this. Let's see if we can get some kind of explanation going as to what's happening here. See it leaking off anything. You guys must have really just drunk it all. That's crazy. All right, well, I didn't see any leakage on that thing coming out it's gotten dark out here it doesn't really show on the camera this is a good lens on this thing um it didn't uh it wasn't leaking from the brass nozzle that is into the bucket 
So it leaves two possibilities, three possibilities. One, the chickens actually drank all that water today. I filled it up at about 8.30 or 9 o'clock. That's three, three and a half gallons of water, 30 chickens. Uh, there is a break somewhere else, like maybe it's because it's a weighted system. So if there was a split or a crack in the drinking pan and water kept dripping out the bottom, it would just keep trying to refill it from the top. So a break somewhere else in the system. Uh, and then the third possibility is maybe I didn't fill it this morning. I mean, I run it like a checklist, so I obviously filled up the other one because it was good. This one was bone dry. So I'm just going to come back and check on it in a few hours and see if the water level has dropped a lot. If it has, then I know I got another break. If it hasn't, I probably screwed up this morning. So, I mean, that would actually be the better option. That's an easy fix. All right. Let's do the rest of the animals. How are you girls doing on this rainy, chilly Florida evening? You're good. Okay. Temperature is... 68. So, for that, I have turned on a second lamp in here for them, just to help keep the whole area heated up. And I'm going to close this to keep them from losing any more heat. They got food, they got water, they got heat, they got places to lay down. And rain off the rain. Cool. All right, night night girls. I'm so proud of you girls. You came in here all by yourself today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I see a butt, nine. How many are there? Can we count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there's, are you connected to somebody? Oh, you're gonna make me come in there and spread you guys out, aren't you? Hi, how's it going? Ah. Oh, oh, that was unfortunate. That was unfortunate. You may laugh, it is, 100% authorized for you to laugh because I did that to myself. Oh, for all those enjoying the show, oh, I bumped the roof and the ice water poured right down inside my raincoat. Maximum effort. Oh, right. Hang on, I gotta count these guys. I can't use the camera while I'm doing it. Got way darker. <laughs> Forgot to turn on the fence. The electric fence for the meat birds. Good. Doink. Yeah, looking good. Right, I'm gonna flip this around and do this. I have no idea what we're seeing right now, but I got douched. I was getting into the count the the ostrilorps, little chickens there, and. Uh, started to crawl into the coop and I tipped the whole thing forward. All oh, that just came rushing down. I don't know if we can see all of the loveliness that is. This is the glamour of it. You know, this is really this is the part people miss. They're like, you know, I want to do this. It's going to be magical. It's actually still really cool. <laughs> I gotta stop walking. I'm gonna walk into a tree. I cannot see past the light. All right, cool. Well, I don't know if we can see it in there, but it's been about three hours, maybe a little more, and we got plenty of water. Sorry, I'm getting the chicken stirred up. But uh, yeah, uh, the only conclusion I could draw is that I screwed up. So good, problem solved. I'm going out of rain now.